sorry. Didn't see you there. I was just limbering up. Like to stay in shape, you know. The briefing, Captain? Ah, yes, the briefing. Bear with me, would you? I'll be with you in a jiffy. Okay, I'll be brief. That's probably why they call it a briefing. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Today's mission is to get you up to speed on the vocabulary of stairs. The stairs are those little floors that help us get between the bigger floors in a building. If you live or work in a building with more than one floor, you'll certainly use stairs on a regular basis. I know I do. This video has been made in four parts. Part one is to practice your listening skills, and there are no subtitles on screen. Part two has subtitles on screen. You can listen and read at the same time. Part three has phonetic subtitles to help you learn the 44 symbols and sounds of the British IPA chart. Part four has alphabetic and phonetic subtitles to better help with your mastery of the IPA symbols. That's it. Off you go now. Tally-ho! Stairs were invented when building was invented, I should imagine. Even the most ancient sites have stairs to climb. Stairs are the easiest way to get from a low place to a higher place, or a high place to a lower place. You don't need to hold on with your hands as you do on a ladder. If you don't use your hands on a ladder, you'll probably fall off. On stairs, however, you can easily carry things up the stairs and down the stairs. Because each stair is flat, you can take a rest as you climb up or walk down the stairs. And if you're not up to physically walking up or down stairs, you can use an escalator. Escalators are often found in shopping centres. The shops want you to buy as much stuff as possible, so they make it as easy as possible to get from one floor to another. Escalators can be found anywhere that people need to be quickly and safely moved from one floor to another. Escalators are moving stairways. Unlike a fixed stairway, falling down the stairs on an escalator is less likely. The higher you climb upstairs, the more danger you're in. This is why most stairs are fitted with safety barriers on any side where you might otherwise fall off. Stair barriers are called banisters. Many staircases have handrails or rails too. Handrails help people walk upstairs and downstairs. Each higher part of a staircase is called a step. Each step is made from a tread and a riser. The tread is the flat part that you stand on. The riser is the vertical bit between treads. Some stairs are open stairs and have only treads and no risers. The whole of the stairs, from top to bottom, is called a staircase. If the staircase is made up of sections, then each section is called a flight. There can be many steps on a flight of stairs. The floor at the top of the stairs is called the upstairs floor. You might say, I'm going upstairs to bed. The floor at the bottom of the stairs is called the downstairs floor. You might say, I'm going downstairs to get some breakfast. Stairs on streets make it easier to climb steep hills and take a rest as you ascend. There can be hundreds of steps on some stairs. Stairs can be straight or curved. Some very curved stairs are spirals. 
Spiral stairs are used where space is limited, in buildings such as a lighthouse, for example. In castles, spiral staircases were always built in a clockwise direction, from the top down. This meant that a right-handed soldier, attacking from the bottom, would always be at a disadvantage. Stairs are found not only in buildings, but also in planes and on ships. Regulations exist to make sure that stairs are always constructed for maximum safety. The angle of the stairs, the width of the treads, and the number of steps is set in stone. Ancient stairs, literally set in stone, are often quite dangerous in comparison. But one thing's certain, without stairs life would be much more difficult. Stare and stare are homophones. We all know that it's rude to stare, but it's ruder still to stare on the stairs.